So the beer that I want to try with you now is a beer called Off The Hook. Um, it was going to feature in our season programme later in the year. Uh, so what we've done, because at the moment we can't really produce draft beer because pubs are closed, uh, we're doing a guest ale programme in bottles. So Off The Hook, a uh, lovely beer, it says all pale malt, so it's all Marisotta pale ale malt, and then it has a symphony of uh, English, um, German and American hops. A couple of those hops added at the beginning. Um, Admiral and Challenger. The Challenger feature in most of our beers is a lovely bittering hop. Um, Admiral is the dominant hop in our flagship. Um, some Mandarina Bavaria, a German hop that we've used before. And then a couple of American hops that we use in, the, in our Cotswold Pale actually, which we're going to um, talk about as well, I hope. So off the hook, a lovely pale beer. Um, probably should have a tasting glass, but I've got one of our lovely retro glasses here to match this lovely retro branding. So interesting, we had a first run of, uh, of Off The Hook done, and uh, within a month we sold it all. It has 12 months best before life on it, and I flipped the lid on a bottle on Easter Saturday um, and realised that the beer had only been bottled a month previously, and I knew that I'd managed to get my hands on the last case that we had in the brewery. But don't worry, more is coming. As we speak, the beer is making its way uh, to our bottler and will be available very soon. So lovely pale beer, you can see that lovely aroma there, colour of probably about 12, but that means very little to you, it's nice and light and pale. And it's just got a really, you see so many beers have a description on there about the, the fruits and the notes you're getting. This is quite subtle, it's a clear beer. Um, it's got a real subtle, lo lovely orangey notes. And it was a really refreshing beer in this lovely weather that we've been having over the last few days, which is even more annoying that pubs are shut when uh, the weather's so lovely. Anyway. Lovely fruity crisp nose coming through. And there is a, it's got slightly more bitterness, certainly perceived bitterness than some of our beers, but there is still an underlying sweetness, so it gives quite a good all round taste. And I'm really pleased, because um, it's not every time you do a new brew that you get it uh, just how you want it from the beginning. What we want is a beer that you can enjoy if you're just having a sip, um, or you can enjoy one and it leads you on to wanting another up to your daily limit of uh, four units clearly although as you know during C19 the daily limits are, are, are out of the window um, but a lovely bit really refreshing good on the aperitif but um, good with uh, with some light food as well but you really do get a quite a strong orangey note come through but that might just be me um, it's really really nice 